screen here. So this one we've got X and Y, and we see, um, personally, I would solve for Y first, because I see that Y is supplementary with the 145, so I'm gonna use this supplementary angle theorem, and Y is equal to 180 minus 145. So I get 35 degrees for Y. And I think most people would then use the interior angles of a triangle theorem. Um, remember that's the angle sum in a triangle theorem. But if you write out words for it and say like the sum of the interior angles is 180, I, I will take that for sure. Um, so for X, if we know Y is 35, then we can say X is 180 minus 65 minus 35 because all three of those angles have to add up. And then we would get X is 80 degrees. So hopefully you guys got those angles. Um, in the next one, I'm gonna start out in the, um, in this left-hand triangle, and I see that it is an isosceles triangle, so I know the 73 and the W are the same um, angle. So W is 73, and that's isosceles. And there's no calculations for that one. Oh. I'm going to change this in too many places. So no calculations for that one, but W will be the same. Uh, then we know X is opposite from W. So I would do that one right away. And then we can figure out Y and Z using the interior angles in a triangle. So A, S, T, T. So for Y, I'd have 180 minus the 80 degree angle minus the 73 degree angle. So that would give me 27 degrees for Y. And for Z, um, I do the same thing, but I'd have 180 minus 73 minus 73 again, because those two uh, bottom angles are the same. So that's 146 that I'm taking away, and I would get that that would be a 34 degree angle for Z. So double check your work there. Um, here, we know that X, this is an equilateral triangle, but we didn't, we didn't really talk about this too much, but we know that all three angles would be the same. So 3X would be 180. An equilateral triangle always has all three angles as 60 degrees. And Y, I see, is supplementary. With the X, so I'd say Y is 180 minus X, which is 120. So I do 180 minus that 60 degrees. You should have 120 for Y. Here we have a bunch of opposite angles. We've got our Y is directly opposite to the 65. So I could immediately say that Y is 65 because it's opposite. And then X, we could say that it's supplementary with either the 65 that's drawn in there or the Y. They both form a straight line. So I'd say that's a supplementary angle theorem. And X would be 180 minus 65 which is 115. And then Z is going to be opposite to X. So it's also 115. Um, 
few different things happening here. We see a 70 degrees and an X and they form this right angle. So with that 90 degree angle, I could say that X is complementary. So I would subtract X is 90 minus 70 degrees. So I get 20 degrees. And then Y is supplementary with the 70. So Y is 180 minus 70. So Y would be 110 degrees. And Z is supplementary again, but Z is supplementary with the X, which was 20. So Z is 180 minus 20, which is 160 degrees. So these ones, we've got some angle theorems. Um, I would start with X because I see that that makes the F pattern or the corresponding angles with that 135. So X is 135 and that's the corresponding, which is the F pattern. Um, you can do Y in a number of different ways. I might look at it as supplementary, making a 180 degree with that 135. So Y equals 180 minus 135. So that's 45 degrees. And then I might highlight a Z pattern there so that Y and Z are the same angle. So Z would also be 45 degrees with just the alternating angles or the Z pattern. So this one's the first one where we have to do some algebra in here. Uh, we've got our, our x plus 12 and our 2x plus 3, and they would be supplementary. So I'm going to say that x plus 12 plus 2x plus 3 equals 180. And that's the supplementary angle theorem. So here I get 3x plus 15 equals 180. 3x is 180 minus 15. So 3x equals 165. And we divide by 3. And I'm running out of room. but we get 55 degrees for our X. So then if we looked at this piece here, this is X plus 12, which would then be 67 degrees. And then we have a Y and a Y. So we know that they, those three are supplementary. So I'd say Y plus Y plus 67 equals 180. So 2Y plus 67 equals 180. So that's 180 minus 67. So then we take that 113, divide by 2, 
and you should get 56.5 degrees for the Y. So double checking your work on those.